respected leaders, uh, friends, then basically, I always prefer call you dear brothers and sisters. The subject was a power woman. Hmm? <laughs> this also uh, quite my favorite sort of topic. Uh, recent years in America and France or in Europe, different countries, and also Japan, and this country also is a number of questions I express. Women should take more active role in the society. The reason uh, in sort of very early period of human humanity, human groups, human society started. Then, at that time, no concept of leadership. All equal. Work together. Whatever they get, something edible, share equally. Uh, then, then population increase. The lifestyle also a little bit sophisticated, I think, comparatively. So then quarrels, stealings, or some injustice activities happen. Then uh, the concept of leadership come. At that time, no rule of education. So simply physical strength. So in order to become leader, of the community, strong physical sort of body. body right? oh. So that is the beginning of male dominance. Then eventually, education takes important role in society. That brings a little bit equality. equality. So now, we are 21st century. Modern education basically is oriented about material values, more materialistic oriented education system. That's why these highly developed country or society, education very good, but a lot of problems even among the children, like Japan, materially highly developed. Education, also good, but the number of cases of suicide among the young student also increasing. What is wrong? And also some uh, different countries, materially highly developed, but still, a lot of sort of problems. And like New York or Los Angeles, big, big cities, millions and millions of people live together, but many of them feel lonely. So, number of occasion in America, there's some sort of seminar about the social problems, particularly unrest or violence among the younger generation. So the participant, some scientists, some doctors, some as a social worker, like that. And then all uh, sort of agree existing sort of uh, system, the lack of human affection personally in the family, and whole atmosphere, lack of affection. Without that, no genuine cooperation, too much competition, 
that brings suspicion distrust that brings loneliness so therefore the uh, existing modern education system i think one sided only concern about brain development and neglect about warm heartedness sense of responsibility So now we really need more effort for promotion of warm heartedness. Now here, biologically, female most potential, according some scientific sort of experiment, they found. One male, one female, observing one picture or something, or a person passing through painful experience. Then the even physical response, female is much stronger. So uh, look other animals, including birds. Mother really takes the fullest sort of responsibility. Look after their youngster. Father, some birds, father also take equal sort of responsibility. But in some cases, some mammals, father enjoy short period, then finished. <laughs> the youngsters sort of till become independence. The mother really take care. So we human beings also, uh, said, mother really, oh, I have one sort of story. One time, uh, my flight, I think from Tokyo to, uh, I think Los Angeles or something, quite long a night flight. So at the beginning, and there, uh, I usually go business class. So two couple with two children. One, I think, maybe six, six seven years. Uh, one, much smaller. Then, then you see that younger, the, the elder one, you see, running here and there. Uh, and then younger one, quite often crying. Then in early period, both parents look after uh, these two children. And about midnight, father just sound asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what your family. <laughs> <laughs> the, the mother whole night, you see, taking care, you see, that boy, that two, uh, two, two children. Oh. And then next morning, the mother's eye become very red. She really started to sacrifice her own sound sleep or rest period just to look after uh, their two youngsters, two, two children, right? like that. So the biologically, female uh, have more sensitive other sort of pain. Of course, occasionally some female, exceptional female, very aggressive, that also is a habit. <laughs> but generally speaking, you see, uh, females biologically more sensitive to sort of other sort of pain. Uh, so there is potential. See, firstly, in the family, mother is the source of affection to the children. Uh, my own case, now, again, one story. My own kids, you see, my mother, uh, very, very warm-hearted person. Uneducated, just a farmer, illiterate, but very kind of mother. All her children, I think, never saw our mother's face, angry face, never. Very kind. 
So when I was young, then I'm, uh, I, I, I'm the youngest sort of, uh, I mean, her, her, her children, mm? and I was young. Mm? So she really uh, very, very kind uh, towards me. So sometimes I feel uh, my mother's sort of kindness, uh, in a way, a little spoiled me. So I becoming a little bit aggressive. <laughs> One sort of example. In the farmer's, uh, in the farmer's home, uh, children carried by mother, uh, on her mother's shoulder, and go like that. So I use, I also use it carried by, by my mother. And then I hold my mother's two ear. <laughs> if I want to go this side, <laughs> the other side, other direction, go like that. <laughs> if my mother not listen properly, then I shout. <laughs> so my mind is very, very kind. Her youngest children, a little bit aggressive. <laughs> so I often tell people, certain amount of compassion here. Real seed come from my mother, not religious practice. Of course, later, the Buddhist training also immense help you see, to strengthening this sort of infinite altruistic sort of mind, like that. But seed come from my mother. So now here, those people who really receive maximum affection or love uh, when we are when, when you are young, then those people I think deep inside much happier, more self confidence. That those people who outwardly very smart, but at the beginning of very, very young, beginning of life, very young age period, lacking love, compassion, affection from parent or without a parent. And deep inside, some sense of insecurity. So, in order to build happy generation. The mother has immense important role. Then, in, in many human activities, uh, I think it may not be exaggeration. Most of the leaderships eventually, so I think more sort of female, mature female leadership comes. I think less danger of violence. I really feel, uh, but not yet tested. <laughs> so I cannot say 100%, but presumably, I think, uh, I often see telling, uh, like a butcher, I think most cases, male. Uh, female, biologically, some kind of sort of more tendency, safe, help. Male sometimes more aggressive, more brutal, ruthless. So, so while I'm praising female, the rest of my life I remain male. <laughs> I will not take surgery, <laughs> become female. <laughs> but next Dalai Lama, in case, you see, the concerned people really want this institution uh, continuously. And also, you see, concerned people want to follow such reincarnation of Dalai Lama, the, the traditional way. Then I often, you see, express, oh, future Dalai Lama could be female Dalai Lama. That's my sort of reason. I really feel. In the Himalayan regions, among Tibetan, among Mongolian, when I give teaching, lecture on Buddhism, 
Majority of the audience are female. In Himalayan range also, Ladakh, Lahore, Spiti. Uh, much less number of male. Right. So that means the city female. Most of the city uh, desire, desire or uh, some, because of the more desire to listen uh, the, uh, the explanation about compassion, these things. So like that. So in any way, uh, the female, as you mentioned, her mother. Mother is the foundation of happy family. So, so that's biologically your first sort of responsibility. Then not only to look after family, but in the society. Look, the nurses. Most cases, nurses, female. They really take care. Uh, and I think, like army, something more violent sort of work, male, more male people. Taking care in these fields, more female. That also shows very clearly. So, well, that I feel, now time has come. We really need more effort regarding promotion of warm-heartedness, affection, compassion. Here, female should take more active role regarding promotion of these uh, inner value. That's my view. And India, in order to develop India externally, internally, India's women, immense sort of responsibility. Uh, and you have the potential. You can really make uh, new India. Of course, younger generation, the particularly female younger generation. I think you have sort of tremendous sort of, because of the opportunities, right? opportunity and potential. Please think this line. Uh, not just your own family, but national level, and through that way, global level. The sci-fi.